I think I have applied too much. Well, time for blending. Hello, I'm Sarah and this is Painted Wit where we like to paint everything, including our faces. Today's look is something that I am wearing to a wedding reception. This makeup look is all about products that are gonna be long wearing, that play well with other products to create a seamless look that I can wear from the morning to the evening and not have to worry about touching up. I am actually only going to bring my lip gloss and lip pencil with me. The rest is gonna stay in place. It's engineered by design to not have to touch up my face. So without further ado, if you would like to see this makeup application it's not quite a tutorial but if you'd like to see me put this makeup on my face and talk through what products i did and why i picked them keep on watching do you like my top repping the try guys merch but um their thing is a triceratops so i have a decent amount of their merch as a sarah who likes to wear tops okay to start with primer i'm gonna use this product it is the Face Theory Ultra Glide Face Primer, a silicone-free natural makeup primer. I use Face Theory for most of my skincare, so when I saw this on the website and that they were expanding into makeup, I was very excited. This is basically just like a moisturizing and hydrating um, primer. I'm not sure I notice a longevity factor, but I use most... Of my products are for longevity so it, it's just a lovely feeling I have already um, put on sunscreen we're gonna do base next I've been enjoying mixing my auric primer glowy thing oh, the glow lust <laughs> I also enjoy using it as like a wet sheen highlighter but um, it does add a nice glow, especially if I'm having a good skin day like today. Um, yeah, this is really nice. So I'm going to pop some of that on the back of my hand. Only like this pump is really nice. I know Sam designed it like that, um, but it is really nice for being able to just pump out exactly how much you want. So you'll be able to see that there's just like a pea sized amount, like a baby pea. For foundation, I mix in either equal parts to the Glow Lust or like one and a half times the amount of whatever foundation I'm using. My favorite foundation of all time is the Candid foundation from Revlon. It's got the perfect finish. It's got the right amount of buildable coverage. It is also very cheap. <laughs> it just, I can't recommend like... Like in Armani foundation when this is just as wonderful. I would say it's most similar to the Bite Changemaker foundation, but it's just six dollars and thirty cents on Amazon or something, so you know. <laughs> so I'm gonna pop some of that on the back of my hand. I'm gonna go with a full pump today. We're going for some coverage. I'll get out a brush, mix those together. And then start applying. I forgot to mention how perfect my shade match is with this foundation. I get 120 buff. It is definitely like my perfect color. And it is not the lightest shade. I am often the lightest shade because I am of snow white resemblance. But um, it is nice to not be the lightest in something. Next we're going to do concealer. I'm going to go in with a corrector first. I have been trying to use up my Tarte CC under eye corrector. She's been used. So I'm going to go in with like a paddle brush and just pick some up just a tiny amount and uh, pop it right in the inner corner slash well I guess just the inner part of my eye. That's where I get like the darkest. And then I'm going to use that Rare Beauty brush. I've been loving it. Update on that. This might be the best thing. Well, top three for my Sephora haul for sure. Okay, now that we have the corrector on, I'm going to pop some under eye concealer on. I'm using the Hourglass concealer. I know a lot of people aren't using Hourglass and especially the complexion products right now because Hourglass's shade range sucks. But I have it. 
I really enjoy it. If we stop using them and stop talking about them, then it doesn't get talked about. So I'm using an hourglass concealer. I enjoy it. There should be more shades and we should talk about it. And hourglass should listen. I'm just using it to conceal and highlight under my eyes and on my chin. And I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty brush to blend that in. We're gonna use mostly cream for eyeshadow today, so I'm not too worried about fall down. And then I'm gonna use a ColourPop concealer for face concealing. Um, this is the No Filter Concealer, and I'm using shade Fair 8 for my face, but I have in my pile of empties Fair 4, which I was using under my eyes for reference. I have a neutral undertone. <sighs> Complexion products can sometimes be the bane of my existence in terms of finding the correct undertone. I often use another foundation, um, instead of concealers sometimes, like a more full coverage foundation, just because it matches me better. And we're gonna pat that in, again with this brush. If I'm feeling like I still wanna conceal since it is like a wedding reception and pictures are going to be taken, I will spot conceal after I've done the rest of my base makeup. I'm gonna start with blush. I'm gonna use a mini I have from Milk Makeup. This is the lip and cheek makeup stick in uh, Work. It is sort of my most mm, mauve cream blush. Uh, I really enjoy it for a more natural to my complexion sort of flush. And with my purple hair, I, I don't go for orange. <laughs> I definitely go for pink, maybe peach, and then also like mauve. I just take a brush and I dab it on top and then I start in the middle of my cheek just patting it and um, I go towards the apple, I go up. I don't always wear a bronzer, in fact I most of the time don't wear bronzer. So this acts as sort of the flush over the face. I'm pale enough that it, it makes sense that I wouldn't wear bronzer. Like for my natural, like flushed bronze look that you try to achieve with blush and or bronzer. Some people love the sun-kissed bronzer all over and I'm a little bit more like khaki um, and just give me the blush. Less alley, more khaki on my range of blush or bronzer. So I'm just gonna do a couple layers of that until I'm satisfied, though I can never be satisfied. Also, the wedding is not till the evening and it takes approximately an hour and a half to get there. So, you know, we're really gonna put this on and make it last. I'm gonna put on some highlighter next. I know we've already got a lovely sheen from the Glow Lust, but this is some party makeup. And um, what says party but the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Light Wand? Is that what this is called? Yes. My wand is disgusting because I've had it for a couple years and I should replace it, but I have a hard time letting go of makeup, especially when it was pricey. So I'm gonna spare you the actual application and you'll just see a nice, uh, you know. I think I have applied too much. Well, time for blending. I have this uh, baby beauty blender, unwatered, hoping it will help absorb some of the excess. I mean, it's gorgeous, but it's a lot. Go over my lip, which I can't do on my work, for my work makeup because no one sees it because of masks. Okay, at this point, we're very shiny. I'm gonna go ahead and take my blush brush and just go over it and uh, sort of meld those products together. Maybe take a little bit more blush and just really blend. Alrighty, 
Next, I'm going to move on to the eyes. I'm going to start with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. Do I think it works better than other eye primers? No. I'm using it, though. <laughs> I'm going to take my Rare Beauty brush again. I'm telling you, this thing is getting so much use. I should buy backups. As a new-to-YouTube beauty person, I looked through my palettes to see which were still in use because I don't buy a lot of palettes because I try to work my way through the ones I have and um, listen almost none of them are still in stock so I'm gonna use the Bare Minerals Bare Sensuals palette that's what I've been using as my mirror this whole time and um, I'm also gonna use some other cream products that are discontinued I think you can't buy them anyways they're all sold out, you know? Just use whatever cream products you have. This is just for a play with makeup and to show you what I would wear to this kind of situation. So take it with a grain of salt. I am going to use this Trish McAvoy eye cream pencil, the 24 hour eyeshadow and liner in Smoky Quartz. I got it because it, it's been difficult to get by Terry. Um, in my life in general, I don't shop at Nordstrom regularly, and so the, that, I think that's the only place you can really get it, um, like, that's a big department store kind of thing. So, um, this was a good option that I came across in a local beauty, like, luxury beauty supply center, uh, and it's pretty dang close to the Misty Rock, I think, <laughs> that I've coveted for so long. So, this is my dupe. That is maybe two dollars less. It's really not really a dupe. <laughs> it's just more easily accessible to me. So it is this. I think it's called like a smoked amethyst on the Trish McAvoy website. It's like a brownie purple silver, which is my favorite. I'm applying this all over the mobile lid. Which is interesting that I said that because I normally say mobile. I'm taking a blending brush and I'm just going to blend out the edges. And then I'm going to take a different blending brush and just sort of keep going. I'm going to do the same on the other eye. Any cream product that you like to wear that's long wearing will work in this situation. It does not have to be a sold out Trish McAvoy product. Or By Terry for that matter, though. I imagine this would work very well with the By Terry. I have some Laura Mercier caviar sticks. That would also be a good option. I just don't have one that's uh, quite this color. I have Amethyst, but I wanted that sort of brownie influence. And this is just such a pretty color. I can layer purple on top or brown or silver and it always just comes out beautifully. Using that same blending brush, I'm gonna pick a color from my Berry Sensuals palette to go into the crease. Don't mind these, they are from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette that I depotted before throwing the rest of the palette away because these and one more that are in a different thing are my favorite <laughs> from that palette. So I was like, well, I'm keeping these. I'm probably going to go in with, hmm, I was going to go in with this hot spell color, but I'm wondering if I should go more brownie. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go in with lure, which I think will work out just fine. Warm it up a little maybe. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Oh, it kind of ties in with the blush a little bit. Yeah, there she is. I'm gonna sort of set the cream shadow with um, a Surat Beauty shadow. Uh, it's in Glamorize, the Prismatic Eyes. I don't think you can get this anymore either. Uh, it's just so pretty. I feel like a mermaid. Which is what I want all the time. I always forget that shadow has a little blue in it. I'm gonna take Persuasion from this palette Try to calm it down a little. The Syrah Beauty does give me that mermaid effect, and part of that is the blue sheen in it. 
but I want to stay a little bit more neutral for this look. That worked perfectly. And we're going to add just a little bit more sparkle. Another update on my Danessa Myricks color fix in Milky Way. I don't give chef's kisses very much, but this is... So I'm going to try my darndest to pour out just the tiniest amount, which is so hard, um, so that I can just kind of pat it on to give myself a glitter effect as opposed to doing a full foil of an eye. I'm going to take it on my finger. This will also help with longevity because I feel like this stuff does not move. You put it on, it is there to stay. It has squatter's rights. You're not getting rid of it. And it dries down so quick. Look at that sparkle. It's excellent. Mascara next. I'm going to use the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. I remembered the name. Um, this is a mini. It's the first time I'm using this mini. I just put my Tarte Lights camera flashes into my empties bag. Um, it was time. I always use mascaras longer than I should. It was time. I don't curl my lashes often. They're pretty curled already. I'm just going to finish this off and I'll be right back. I will admit this wand is a tiny bit pokey, but I haven't used it in a long time, so I will get used to that, I'm sure. It just gives such a lovely separated full lash. Um, the Lights Camera Flashes mascara really gives me volume, but it is nice to see this length so I'm enjoying this. We will conquer brows next. I'm going with the Kosas brow products again. Uh, I've been using them every day since I got them and I really enjoy them. Start with uh, fluffing these butters up. In the morning before work, I do enjoy using the triangle in like the upright position and really just like <laughs> And then it's, and then it's in, and I'm done. And then I, then I focus a little bit in the front with it, um, like, strokey. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do today. And then focus on some strokes in the front part. And that's all she wrote. I'm going to add in the Kosas Airbrow next. Just that clear brow gel. As a warning, I can feel that Danessa Myrick's sort of on my eyes. I imagine it would be similar to having lashes on. I don't wear lashes. Um, that it's just like you can feel something there. It's not bothersome, but I do wonder if I'm going to get used to it. Now it's time to reassess the skin. Do I need to pinpoint conceal? And I'm going to say yes, just because of pictures. If this was a normal everyday look that I was doing, I would stop here. It would be fine. I'm going to use the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Light One Chantilly and just, you know, identify some places that could use a little extra coverage. And then I will blend with my finger, which has glitter on it. And then I will blend with my Rare Beauty brush as it is supposed to mimic a finger, it is kind of perfect for this thing. Okay, this section over here, I feel like when I turn, you can see that I've covered up the blush. So, to fix that, I'm going to take some of my blush on the back of my hand, in the non-glittery portion, and then I'm going to take my concealer brush and I'm just going to mix it in with whatever was left on the, what was it, whatever was left on the brush. I'm just going to mix it in and then go back in. And hopefully this will help with the colors. And I'll go in with more blush to see if that helps too. I'm going to take one last look-see and take my 
the other side of my tiny beauty blender. Pat in any lines I see. I should probably put something in my inner corner. I'm going to take a tiny brush and I'm going to take that, um, is it Sin from the Naked 2 palette? It's just in my palette. One of the reasons I kept this is because it's such a beautiful inner corner highlight. And I think it pairs really well with this Bare Minerals palette, actually. So, it's uh, it's been adhered with lash glue to where the brush holder is. Je ne regret pas. Time for powder. Uh, I'm going to be using the Hourglass powder for the Veil powder. Again, not enough colors, but we gotta talk about it. And I have it, so I'm gonna use it, because I'd like to use it up. I'm gonna pop that sort of slapdashy in the center of my face. I'll go on with a smaller brush for the detailed areas. Um, I'll use this under my eye. This brush is part of a set that looks like Harry Potter wands. I believe I'm using the Elder Wand to, uh, to set my face today. It was a gift. But I use them almost every day. Now because this is going to need to be so long wearing, I am also going to use some blush on top. I have this very old Tarte palette. Um, Tarte blushes were all the rage when, what, 2016? So I, <laughs> maybe 2014, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna just swirl that same powder brush in these mauve -y tones here. I remember when I bought the palette, I said to my coworker at the time, I will never need to buy another blush. That was before I started using creams though, to be fair, like right before. So I guess true to my word, I haven't bought another powder blush, I think in that time. I think that light wand in combination with the Auric is giving me enough shine. I don't need to add a powder highlight on top. The only thing left is setting spray, which I've been using more because of mask wearing in the last year. Before that, I didn't really use setting sprays except for special occasions like this. But when in Rome, use a setting spray. So we're gonna use the, I'm gonna use the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. It has the, it has a scent, the same, uh, the, the primer of this, you know, the, the primer that matches that has the same scent that I, I could never put my finger on, like mint lime or something. I, I really enjoy the scent. I just, if someone could tell me what that is, I would really appreciate it. There is my makeup minus my lips. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to wear yet on the lips. I'm going to have to get dressed and then decide from there, I think. As everyone is vaccinated at this particular event, I don't have to wear a mask at this uh, outdoor wedding reception event. And so I, I might just go for a full on lipstick, <laughs> which is something I have not done in a year for the most part. Um, I've been wearing lipsticks around the house to make myself feel nice, but you know, it, it'll be nice to actually wear a lipstick. So, contenders. This is my box of lip products that I use all the time or that I'm trying to use more. So it has favorites such as some Dior lip products. It has all of my Lisa Eldridge lip products, which is probably what I'll go for today, depending on what dress I pick, I'll match to it. I was going to try to go for a red, but I think my eyes are a little full on and I mean, they're neutral, but I think it might be a bit much. But if I go in with something like Velvet Beauty, that could be a really beautiful pairing with the eye look and the cheek look. But if I'm looking for something that's sort of more in the middle, my mini version of the NARS Audacious Lipstick in Anita is an excellent creamy, pinky, dusty color that I think actually matches with the Milk blush really well okay so on this side is the blush and on this side is the anita lipstick 
it's a little creamier formula than the Lisa Eldridge as well, so I don't know. And maybe I'll throw a Fenty gloss on top. I started my makeup at about 9.30 this morning, and now it's almost 2.30. Um, I'm going to go to the wedding in about half an hour, so this is my check-in. <laughs> as you can see, the makeup has not moved. I haven't touched it. I did eat lunch, but this is what you get. This is the the makeup after that time. As you can see, it has stayed the same. 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 6 hours. <laughs> um, or maybe 5 since completion, but it this is this is what it is. So, um the only thing that I might do is touch up the powder on my chin a little bit and maybe over this blemish on this side just so that I can ensure that it'll stay through the next several hours. Go over. I put on the Dior Lip Glow right after I finished doing my makeup and then I ate lunch and it's worn off now, but my lips are definitely well nourished. So it is time to do lips. The question is, which lip? I think I am actually going to use that NARS lipstick. I have it in Anita. This is a mini version. The full size looks like this. I got this in a set a couple years ago. I normally start lipstick and then add on lip liner if I need it. I'm not a major lip liner person. I will with a dark color, but for a really nude color like this, I'm just going to go straight in. All right, we are going to use a lip liner. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in Pillow Talk. Just to even out my lip line from my somewhat messy initial application. I do know that we're having taco truck tacos for dinner, so I don't want to wear anything that's going to be too crazy obvious that it's rubbed off. And I thought about wearing a liquid lipstick, but to be honest, I've decluttered most of my liquid lipsticks. They've gone kind of bad. Um, so I only have a few options, one of which is the very beautiful M Cosmetics. Um, soft matte lip cream or whatever it's called mm, not quite it's, it's a little too bright another option I have is the lip slut uh, liquid lipstick which is almost exactly the same color as the M cosmetics one except this one is a true dry down liquid lipstick this would have been my go-to choice if I had done something really minimal on the eyes and still wanted like a bold lip and is liquid lipstick oh and I also have this red Fenty lipstick if I'd wanted to go red um, but I do find that this one isn't transfer resistant, not good for tacos. So instead I'm going to stick to this neutral pink, I think, but I am going to throw a gloss on top. This is a mini of the uh, Fenty Gloss Bomb in Fussy, and it's just that slightly more mauve, and I think it'll play well with the eyes. So I'm going to throw this in my purse, and uh, that'll be what I touch up for the rest of the night. I might also throw in the Pillow Talk just to have something just in case, but this will be perfect for the rest of the night. And this is the final look. <sighs> I'm back. It's been approximately 12 hours since I put on my makeup. It is nine, four to nine. <laughs> And uh, you can see that my eye makeup stayed perfectly. Primer, cream shadow, powder, and then the extra Danessa Myricks to add on top, I think really seals it in. I can still, I'm a little bit, um, it did wear off through the day, but I am a little bit still, um, <laughs> yeah. You can see some little friends popping up, but that's just normal for me. I'm acne prone with normal skin. I'm feeling good about whatever the situation is under here. We'll find out when I take it off. Anyways, back to earlier Sarah for the outro. 
Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one.